Hi guys, uh, uh, this is KVS. Today, let's talk about uh, how to write a code with the uh, Git Copilot uh, within a minutes. Uh, I have an application where I want to create a new endpoint. So the endpoint is basically to just get all the questions, uh, you know, for the given question ID. Uh, here, uh, I need to create a new endpoint. So let's see how I can code uh, using the Git Copilot uh, within a minute or, or so. So the new endpoint is going to be uh, get mapping. So whenever I say get mapping, I think it's identified that, uh, you know, the get question method is not available. So let's consider the Git Copilot auto suggestion. And then, so when I just enter, it is expecting what is required. So it is expecting for the response as a git uh, questions response. And the method name is the git question, get question. And uh, what are the parameters? We need to pass the question ID. And the question ID is the string. And the response is going to be the get questions response. So let's consider this. Okay. So now, so the get get questions response we already have. What is expected uh, the uh, structure? Now, let's create a method. Click on create a method. So I'm just going to enter. Uh, when I just enter a method, you know, just uh, uh, you know, enter. So it is expecting for the default code what is expected but we need to have the uh, the response in the uh, response from the database. So even that is also, you can see, so it is expecting for the uh, auto code. So we just need to uh, give the tab so that, uh, you know, we get the code, but I don't want to write uh, the entire code here. So what I will do is I'll just say return and uh, it is expecting what is that we wanted to write? I just want to have like a assessment repo dot get question and then pass the question ID as the input. Now let's create this method also in the repository. If I click on the create method, just to click on enter and wait for the, uh, you know, the Git Copilot uh, auto suggestions, you can see what is expected so we are expecting for the get questions response how can we get the get questions response since i'm using the mongo database using the spring boot application and that too i'm writing the custom query uh, that's the uh, using the mongo mongo template so i'm not using any uh, cred repositories so we have a query so the query criteria where the question id is the question id so the question id is the input and what is that we are going to get find one document so that is nothing but the database response mongo database response for the given uh, question id and then i want to convert the document into the response object so the document is nothing but the mongo uh, collection and the response is going to be what is that we are expecting as part of the api response it could be some uh, you know uh, modified uh, response object so just accept the git copilot uh, auto suggestion and click on tab so that we can get all the uh, structure now let's restart this uh, and verify how are we going to test it Yeah, application is uh, it's about to restart. It is restarted. Let me pull my swagger and click on refresh. Now, first I will, uh, now we can see the, the new endpoint which is added for the get question. Before that, uh, let's uh, search for the question. I'm going to just enter what. So I get the question ID. Now take this question ID, go to the get question, click on write out, enter the question ID, click on execute. So now we can see all the response body. 
uh, for this get method. So I didn't put any effort. So git copilot is, uh, you know, giving this uh, code automatically. So we don't need to spend a lot of time, uh, you know, if there are any changes, uh, we cannot expect 100% git copilot gives the expected uh, code. So sometimes it might give the invalid code. Uh, so we need to correct it. So only thing, if you are aware how to use the git copilot, and if you are aware of the technology and the terminology, then it's is it's easy to uh, use the git copilot uh, in order to uh, generate the code. So if you would like to watch how to install or, or how to set up the Git Copilot and uh, you know how we can start using the Git Copilot, I'll be adding the other videos in the description. Please go ahead and watch it. Please let me know if you have any questions, I can help you more on that. That's all guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe and like and share it.